I don't want to put it right there, Hokey, because like I don't want to get stuck going down my stairs if there's ever a zombie there. I want to have as much room as possible to be able to like, I don't know, walk past it if I find a zombie in my house one day. So what I'm doing right now is I'm moving things from this box to the neighboring box. It's not all going to fit, but I'm going to probably either break or just move this if it lets me without failing this crate. So he's just he's just shifting things over right now. Let's grab this axe. I said let's grab this axe. I said let's grab this axe. This axe cannot be grabbed, okay? This axe it has transcended existence. Volks H, he's the one who knocks, not us. Let's just put everything on the floor. Hold out behind me. I want it to face us because of the way isometric views look. I want us to see the stove that we worked for. All right. Um, still can't grab the axe. Can I move? I'm just going to disassemble this. I'm going to disassemble this crate. We can make another one. They're easy to make. Hopefully this drops the axe to the floor. Oh, no. I can't disassemble the crate. Chat. Uh-oh. Does the axe show up on the floor? It does. So I can maybe do this. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay. I, I, I thought everything was broken. I can't disassemble the crate. I think it's because the oven is in my inventory. And I probably can't put the saw in my hands. Is this the issue? That's the issue. Okay. So that oven is going to have to... Can I drop it? Like on the floor? Does this work? No, I have to place it. Well, thankfully, I can place it and then just move it, right? Yeah. So for now, we'll just slap it down here, then we'll move it. You guys ready for this? Are you excited? Are you excited for a wood-burning stove in the house? <laughs> I think it's going to be kind of cool. Okay, this thing I should now be able to pick up. There's a 45% chance it just explodes. Exploded. <laughs> um, I'd like to take that plank off the floor so I can put the stove there. Shocker that it exploded. You know, folks D. Uh, move the plank here. All right. Pick up. Too heavy for my inventory. We're going to put that stove where I want it. Right next to the TV so I can just, I can just veg at night. Now can I do it? Pick up. There we go. The stove's final resting place. Are you ready for this, Mr. Stove? Are you ready for this? Plus one coziness? Yes. Antique oven place item. There it is. Does the stove need to be against an outside wall so it doesn't smoke out the place? Nope. Zomboid's not smart enough to know that. <laughs> so, it's fine. There it is! We've done it! Oh, why does this look like a pyramid? Look at this thing. It looks like a pyramid. Um, we'll need another crate, but ideally we can just stack some up. We have it! We have a stove! Here, this plank. Let's do it. The inaugural plank. The inaugural plank. Uh, add fuel, one plank, okay, light fire with five ripped sheets and a lighter. Let's turn the light off. Oh, look, 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 look. Where's the other light? Where's the other light switch? Is there one over here? Yeah. We chillin'. It's 82 degrees inside now. We chillin'. Could you have moved into any of those houses? Yeah, you can take any house over you want. I moved into the sticks because it's nice to not have zombies breathing down your neck. Because if you live where the zombies are really populated, then you're going to be dealing with the zombies, and that's its own thing. There's a switch behind this somewhere, I think, that I flicked. Pretty sure. I swear there was. Whatever. 
Alright, we, uh, we have a method of not dying in the winter, and that's pretty nifty. Let's go get some planks to make that extra container to move some things around. Fix up my, my storage that I did just break. That is a weight off my shoulders today. I, I thought we were going to have a weird struggle. I thought we were going to have a weird struggle with that. Garden saw, saw logs. We also need to go put this axe down. So I think it's three planks for this. It might be four planks, but I'll grab some off my floor here. It's September. It's not super cold or anything yet. We still got time, I think, before winter really hits. Carpentry, wooden crate. All right, we can make our crate. Do, 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 do. All right, boxes, boxes, boxes. Might be time to start moving things in here and like deleting this table. What's this radio have? Nothing useful on it in terms of uh, signals. I'll probably break that radio. Wouldn't great. Let's put her down. Can I put a crate underneath this? Ooh, if I can put a crate underneath those shelves, I think I will. Uh, disassemble the radio. Zomboid killed the radio star chat. I can put three crates on top of each other. I don't want to put any crates on top of each other in this room, just because of the camera angle. It'd be really hard to see what's going on. What a blood lord. Now we're gonna get rid of this table. Hey, if we fail this table and we get scrap wood, we know what to do with it. <laughs> this is gonna be some rustic living. Out in the sticks when winter rolls in. Burning ourselves up some firewood. Staying cozy at home while the zombies do their thing thing. You gotta find a sofa. Pretty sure there was one in here that I broke. <laughs> did it fail? I think it did. We got some scrap wood. I know what I'm doing with that. Hello, add fuel, scrap wood. Be nice. Okay, axe, the broken one. We do put uh, weapons in this container. Oh, I do have some food to store. That's right. I think I'm going to eat this canned spaghetti. Let's, let's open this canned spaghetti. Can I put the spaghetti in a pot or something and then um, cook it? Is that an option? Does that work? I don't think I have another cooking pot. Do I have like a saucepan just chilling? Where's my saucepan? Don't see it. All right, so I'll, I'll refrigerate the spaghetti until I'm done with my soup so I don't waste it. I can, all right, yeah, I'll cook up the soup. Makes more sense. Some aluminum. What can you do with aluminum? I've been uh, I've been seeing a lot of aluminum lately. Screwdriver, garden saw. Get rid of that. All right, it's time to pick this crap off off the floor. Are there online games that are endless too? Do you mean like with Zomboid or like other games? All right, I am not going to be able to hold all of this, but we're going to pick up as much as we can and put it in that other crate. Yeah, with Zomboid? I mean, when you play multiplayer Zomboid, it's like the same thing. It's just there is no end goal. You're just playing with other people, so pretty much. P much. The game's what you make it. It's just like Minecraft in that way. There is no there is no story. The story is this is how you dieted. <laughs> this is how you bit the big one, chat. Cook it in a teacup? Yeah, I'm just gonna cook some spaghetti in a teacup and watch all the British people in chat scream. <laughs> you filthy American, that's not tea. It's like, no shit. But they're gonna find a way to rage about it. They'll find, they will. Fucking British people always bitching about their tea. All right, um, is that an extra lighter or is that my lighter? I can't tell. Yeah, I do keep my nails on me. Here are the paperclip, the rope. Screws and scrap metal, metal sheets, wood glue. The wood glue that we got today was nice. Heathen! Yeah. This axe in here. 
Oh, I have an extra crowbar. Forgot about that. We did loot a crowbar Why today. Me? Brain is dead. Send help. Nah, you're just dead. Sorry, bro. Slim, thanks for the 58 months. Can't help you with that one, my guy. <laughs> you're on your own. Well, thank you for the 58 months. I appreciate it. Some love in chat for Slim. What's up, man? Slim, we got an antique stove. We are set for when winter rolls around. We can burn wood. We won't die. Okay, we won't die to being cold, but we'll probably die to a zombie looking at me the wrong way. You know. That's Zomboid. The rabbit stew goes back in my inventory. Extra can opener does not belong in my inventory. I only need one. Also, Pog on the stove. Yeah, yesterday we went there. It was it was ridiculously full of zombies. We went there today. It was pretty chill. I, I don't know what changed, but I got in and got the hell out. <laughs> All right, so my guy's bored. You guys want to watch another Space Odyssey movie? You guys want to watch another Space Odyssey movie? We got uh, Space Crew Season 3, Episode 2. We can do this. Our character's bored. We have a way of fixing that. Let's, uh, let's sit on the ground here. Let's just chill. Alright, TV time. Put you in there. Turn TV on. Play. Bzz. Inspiring space music! Ah! Space date 7436A. We have left the proximity of the Aurora Galaxy. The Jansarians remain in quarantine. They seem to be small-time smugglers. Now continuing our original mission to trade Outpost 66B. You should get some rest, Juan. You don't have to watch the smugglers all the time. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Sam. Well, at least say, have some space coffee. You're gonna fall asleep. Captain Six, no. Twelve Curlin ships have warped in. Torpedoes incoming, evasive maneuvers. Pew, pew, pew! Explosions, electrical fizzling. Fizzing. Full power to shield generators. Get us out of here, Colin. This is literally Star Trek. Aye, aye, Captain. Explosions, lasers zapping, and warping noises. Inspiring space music. Aw, oh, it's over. We'll never find out what happened to him. Man, now, now we wait. Now we want more. <laughs> oh, man. Cliffhanger! Pew, pew, pew! Uh, I am hungry again. Okay, let's eat another quarter of the stew. I guess today we could exercise since we're not going out and fighting for our lives over a stove. It's just, it's nice to have that thing ready, so I'm gonna start stacking up a bunch of scrap wood. Start stockpiling. I think we'll do some exercises. We'll, uh, we'll work on them buns and thighs, and by that I mean I think I'm going to work on my upper body, because that's just what I've been doing. Alright, chat. For every push-up this guy does, you too have to do a push-up, okay? It's a promise. And if you don't, well then you have to sub, sorry. <laughs> Them's the rules. <laughs> you have such great energy, I'm glad I decided to check out your stream. This game, I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you, man, this game's great. Thanks for being here, friendly. Appreciate it, my dude. Hey, I'm having fun watching Space Killers and Star Trek or whatever the hell it is. Inside Zomboid. Somehow Star Trek seems more cool inside Zomboid than real life. You are doing push-ups? Yeah, I'm doing push-ups. I mean, realistically, I should work on my fitness. That's lower, but I just kind of started on my strength already because I like not having my legs be tired. I don't know. I, I didn't want to, like, not be able to run from a zombie. Not being able to really fight a zombie well is kind of easy, because you can just avoid the combat, but if I find myself in combat, and I need to get the hell out of dodge, I'd like to be able to run. <laughs> he's struggling, but he's doing it! You're subbed, no push-ups for you. What, what, about, what about Mendo and Super Spyro and... Uh, and uh, uh, I think it's all I see. Nope, McSkin Fry. Uh, I don't know. How about you guys? All right, so the regularity went up. Chat, what, what does regularity going up do? I still haven't figured it out. There's been no increase in my XP boost. 
So, I'm confused. Grab the backpack. Apply the backpack to my back. Alright, it's 9.30. We are exhausted. I really need some books to read so I can read at night. Uh, I've already read all of these. I really would like the carpentry book. Wow. Building that road gave me 500-something carpentry XP without the book multiplier. We would probably be like six carpentry if we had that book, honestly. Oh, I'm about to level a farming level. Let's go. Next thing we harvest, we probably get a new, new level. We can call ourselves farmers, chat. Let's uh, smoke before we go to bed, because my dude is freaking out. And then, yeah. I guess, like, bookstores? Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, We could check that warehouse. I'll check the warehouse to maybe find potato seeds. Try to find a... I could try to go back to that bookstore in the beginning of this map, or that we did in the beginning of this run, just in case I left an advanced carpentry book there. I don't know if I did. <sighs> I don't really know else where to look for books. I'm trying to think. Let's check our map. Mm, so, somewhere like along this strip. So I think it's like here. Yeah, I, th I think it's here. There's a bookstore. There might be the books we need. There's the warehouse right here, which could still have the seeds. It might just have nothing. We could go back to McCoy and loot these rooms, because I've never done that. There might be a chance of seeds there. Maybe. What up, J.H. Parker? How you doing? Hmm. You're off to the gym. We'll just do push-ups at home like I did. It's free. It's free 99. Alright, here's the plan. I start my day. I eat this entire rabbit stew with my bare hands. I get my spaghetti out of the fridge. Can I put it in the pot? Make pot of soup. No. Uh, can I not put spaghetti bolognese in the pot? I don't think I can. I can make a pot of soup and then do that. Chat lied to me. Do I need a saucepan to be able to do this and not a, a big cooking pot? I wanted to put the spaghetti in the cooking pot to heat it up. Well, if, it's, if the teacup worked, then sitting here I would be able to right click it and then there'd be an option. So I don't see it. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to leave the cooking pot here. And we're going to bring some canned food with us. Maybe that'll fatten me up while I'm out there. Right, I'm going to eat a carrot. I'm just going to eat an entire carrot hole. And an entire cabbage hole. It's midnight munching time. I'm going to grab, like, two bags of tortilla chips. Tortilla chips, let's go. Food, water, everything's taken care of there. Let's go to McCoy. Let's see if I can find seeds. Let's look for seeds and also let's check our crops to see if they're seed bearing up. We need potatoes. It's the quest for the potato today. Okay, chat. Ready for harvest, ready for harvest. Seedling. Seed bearing carrots. There's some carrots there we can harvest. Wait, 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 wait. Is now the time? I gotta get rid of that tree. It's gonna hide a zombie from me. Is now the time for the Mia guitar time? Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eating a fresh carrot right out of my garden. Delicious. Let's go put that back so it doesn't get rotten while we're out. Alright, to McCoy to try to find potato seeds. Potatoes. I need potatoes. Also, because I don't want to get blindsided by a zombie while I'm at my farm, this tree has to go. A tree is literally death waiting to happen. 
Yeah, you have to use the can opener to open up canned food. If you don't have the can opener in your inventory, you literally will just stare at the canned food and starve to death. Ask me how I know. We could also use a trip to the gas station today. We have a lot of empty cans in the back. Ready to go. Beep beep. Onward to find potatoes. What do you think, chat? What are our odds of potatoes today? You think we'll get any at this place or no? I might swing by the warehouse. Oh my goodness, there are zombies in the woods. What is going- Whoa! 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 What the fuck? Okay, what the hell? No! There's not supposed to be zombies in the woods. Anyway, what, what do you think our chances of getting some potatoes today are? Okay, I want you guys to go this way, which gets you out of the woods. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep! Uh, the green light has, or the red light has turned green for approximately an eighth of a millisecond. Go! Go, person in front of me! Go! It's usually how it is. Usually you're the guy at the green light, and the light has literally just turned green, and you're, like, on the accelerator. And the guy behind you is like, Honk honk! Honk honk! <laughs> My dude's in pain because of his exercise fatigue. He's feeling the burn. Feeling the burn. Just means that fighting today is something that we would like to avoid. Which is why I'm gonna go to the logging company. I'm gonna honk here to pull some zombies. And we're gonna ideally get in there, kill a couple, and get some seeds. If not, we'll check the warehouse when we go home, if it's possible. But maybe gas up first, we'll see. You give them three seconds before you honk? Generally, I don't honk either. Like, I, I, all right, so I went for inspection with my truck a couple months ago, and they're like, yeah, your, your, your horn doesn't work. We can't pass you for inspection. And I'm like, I'm 30 years old in a month. I've never honked at anybody ever. Fuck you. <laughs> so I had to fix that. So that was annoying. Anyway. Yeah, your horn doesn't work. We can't let your car go on the road. I've never honked at anybody. I literally don't honk at people. I just wait. I just be patient. I don't know. People are dumb. You honk all the time? It doesn't surprise me at all, Hokey. <laughs> But I, I literally never honk at people. Lynn honks at people for existing. Lynn is a very aggro driver. Very aggro. Really is, isn't it, Nomo? Alright, so there's these buildings at the end. Oh, there's the truck! At the end over here that I have never been in yet. Alright, we just aggro two zombies, four zombies. Okay, alright, we got a group. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get their attention, and we're gonna go drop them somewhere else. We're gonna take a bikini bottom, and we're gonna put it somewhere else. What if we take bikini bottom and put it somewhere else? Come on. That's open right there, but that's like super kind of close quarters and probably just gonna blow open that door to feel safe. Okay, I want you guys, yep, I want you to look at me, yep. Look at me, look at me. Why won't you look at me? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Why are you guys so slow? Come on! Beep beep! <laughs> and Zombie's like, what the fuck, bro? I'm suing you! <laughs> Insurance fraud! I'm suing! Come on! 
I should be able to do this, depending on any aggro that we may have gained coming in here. Let's go around. There we go. All right, bets on finding a potato, a potato seed. Uh, I do need the sledgehammer. It's a good song. Who knows what song that is? Okay, does this open? Okay, doesn't open. It's time. Destroy. Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! It's open? I'm opening it right here to feel a little safer. I know what you're talking about, over there. It's a really narrow, I just don't even want to go around that corner. Alright. Flight chamber back in the backpack. Looking good. Here we go. Hello? That's a lot of boxes. That's a lot of boxes! There, oh, there's also a water container. There better be a potato seed in here. Also, this door was locked too in the past. Not anymore. There's nobody in here. Nobody's home. Potato seeds? T toma tomatoes? They're not potatoes, but that's new. We got tomato seeds, chat. And fertilizer. I don't know how heavy it is, but I'll see if I can put it in my backpack. I got a bag of fertilizer in my backpack. We just got tomato seeds. That's kind of cool. Potato! Yes! Let's go! Dude! Let's go! Potato seeds and tomatoes. First freaking way. Strawberries! I didn't know they existed in this game. Oh my god. I do need a metal sheet, actually. Yoink. Right, we're going to be looting this thing for a while. Oh my fucking god. Today is a good day for Crazy Julio. Today is a good day for Crazy... Potato seeds again! For crazy Julio. Uh, carrot seeds? We already have... Oh, so I had a second sledgehammer! <gasps> okay, I'm actually, I think, full. Let's go drop this stuff off. Drop my sledgehammer off. A second sledge? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. All these. A fertilizer. Back of the truck. Back of the truck you go. Sheets. Sledge. There's a lot of weight right there. Sledgehammers. They ain't light. Go figure. You died? Welcome to Zomboid. You're gonna die a lot. <laughs> That's, uh, that's Zomboid. I can't believe we just found tomato seeds, strawberry seeds, and potato seeds. Like, back to back to back in quick succession. All brand new seeds. Those are radish seeds, but I'm good on those. Honestly. A, a, another sledge? Dude, where was this warehouse? Earlier. Like, are you cereal? I'll take those sheets. Another sledge. Did I just see a? Did I just see an axe? I think I did. Tarp, Brady, an axe. Let's go, bro. This warehouse is sick. Um, tarp, radio, powder, paint, sack, barbed wire, propane torch. Ready to have a propane torch. Hell yeah. Mm. And it's only 1 p.m. Still only 1 p.m., so we got time. Could be somebody in this room. Box of screws. I'll take those. Chat, you guys got a couple screws loose, so I'll take a whole box for you. Alright. Definitely want the garbage bags. Empty bucket, rip sheets. That's a lot of bleach. Um, I'll take those. 
If nothing else, I can empty it out and use it as a water container. Duct tape. We like duct tape. And, and more bleach! Okay, we just- we found the bleach warehouse. I'd like to take these shelves to my house and use them or something. They look really cool compared to the boxes you make. I take the screws but not the nails. I don't even see any nails! Relax! <laughs> if there's more nails, I'll get them. Because we used a ton of nails recently. Uh, garbage bag. I cannot believe I just got two additional sledgehammers. Like, are you kidding me? That is sick. Get rid of all that stuff. Bleach. The truck's surprisingly not full yet. Tons of cleaning liquid. I need to start using, like, cleaning liquid and stuff when I when I wash myself for the speed boost. Screw you. Whoa! <laughs> We got an extra axe. That's pretty sick. Um, in fact, move them both over. Because the crowbar is my backup weapon. Just because of the durability on it. I'm trying to use the axe as the primary at the moment. Because it seems to do more damage. Bleach. Put that away. Alright, Chad. If you behave yourselves really, really well, I'll give you some spaghetti bolognese, alright? Can, can, can you be good, chat? I'll give you some spaghetti. Oh, there's a box of nails. Do, 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 do. Box of paper clips. Another box of nails. Nope. Box of nails. Do you ever behave? No, not you, Miri. No? Wow, okay. Chad doesn't want spaghetti. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Here. Fine. It's on the floor now. I'm giving it to the rats. <sighs> okay. I think I can put this water container in my truck passenger seat. Let's pick it up. Look, there's your spaghetti. It's on the floor for the rats. You did this. Weirdo. Those rats are gonna eat good tonight. Can I just put this dispenser? No, I can't. Wait. Oh, I can. That was weird. I was able to put that stove in here. Okay. Bring a chair home to put in front of the TV. <laughs> you know, I could go could go nab like a little sofa thingy. Fancy little chair. You right. Look at, that, look at that spaghetti. Just sitting on the floor. Chat just wasted the whole container. This is on you people. This is this is on you people. Okay, so let's go check this side. I didn't really check this side as much. You're mean you are? No, I'm not. I asked you guys if you could behave. I'll give you some spaghetti. And you guys are all, like, collectively and unanimously no. Smile. Okay, chat. I see you. Which of these gravel bags? I guess I could use the gravel to make roads. Maybe I should try to, to get a bunch of gravel bags for roads. I don't know. I mean, I can make my own with wood, as we've seen. But, obviously, I think gravel looks cooler. Slash is the... Intended material for such a thing. Carrot seed. Another sledge. <laughs> All right. There's no reason for me to have five sledges, so I'm not gonna take it. I have enough. We can save it in case I find myself in a pinch and I'm here and I need a sledge. <clears throat> oh, wood glue. Wood glue is very important for our axe. I love how the thing's called Toys Are Mine Walkie Talkie. Bag of concrete powder. Chad, how do you go about actually making concrete? Like, is that a thing? Can I just mix water with the, the bag and then, like, place it somehow? Or do I need some obscure way of mixing it? Oh, another box of nails. Box of... Wow, alright, we're, we're doing great for boxes of nails. I want to get home and plant these seeds. What's up, Terranay? Some people search the whole map to find a sledge, and I'm getting multiple in one place. Well, yeah, I spent a long time trying to get a sledge. You remember? I couldn't find one. All right, pick up chair. Folding chair acquired. All right, we have a chair to sit on when we watch the TV at home. We're officially gamers. We have our DX racers. Five boxes of nails. 
Let's go. Folding chair. Put this all in the back of a truck. That's why we got ourselves a truck. We like that carry capacity. <clears throat> Is there anything else here? Radish, lighter. I already have those. There's a box of nails. I don't think I need boxes of nails for a long time now. So this one's been pretty well looted. There's still boxes that are technically in the middle that haven't been. Chat! Last chance! The spaghetti bolognese is on the floor. Last chance to change your, your minds. Sad thing is, you could have had this all a long time ago. Shh, shut up, Quest. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Okay, question. Can I get in this box? Is it open? Okay, it's open. I don't like that it's open like this. Okay, it's open, but I can't go in the back. Okay, I can't go in the back. It's, uh, there's so many boxes and logs and stuff in the way. Right, I'm pretty sure I was here and this was all locked down. So, probably time for me to go get my sledge back. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And there it shall remain. What the fuck's wrong with you people? You just wasted a perfectly good thing of spaghetti. I'm gonna eat my tortilla chips to spite you. Okay, oh, there's a few zombies back here. Anybody behind the dumpster? Any drug deals going down? There's a lot of zombies over here. Dirty bandage. A dirty bandage in the garbage can. Gross. Alright, we 100% need a sledge to get in this building. There's a lot of zombies behind it compared to what was going on when we were here. The zombies are going to touch your spaghetti? I, you've had your chance to change this. What do you want from me, people? Oh. Where did you come from? Put a shirt on, you weirdo. Nobody wants to see your saggy old man titties. Uh, sledgehammer. Yoink. I have bleach, though. I can clean that bandage. I'm not cleaning somebody else's dirty bandage. What? <laughs> Don't even suggest that to me anymore. <laughs> uh, destroy. Here we go. Let's see what's behind this door. Knock, knock. Water container. Just seeing if that sound attracted any zombies here. So they'll wrap their underwear around my wounds but won't ble bleach a proper bandage? Absolutely. Big barrels, it looks like the exact same layout inside. Okay. Let's just check this room. This one's got a bathroom. The other one did not. Uh, fill my bottles. Okay. Dirty mop. Rag. Bleach. Screws, a padlock. Pretty sure you can use those in multiplayer to like lock doors so other players can't get in. I mean, you can lock a door in single player, but obviously, what's the what's the point? I'm not gonna open that door because zombies will LOS me. I will open this one. I don't see anybody. Well, it's 5 p.m. It's gonna start getting dark soon. Another act. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another box of nails. Oh my god. More duct tape. Oh my god, chat. I'm gonna die just staying here too long looting things. This place is bitchin'. Blue paint. Ooh, what was that? Big fancy flashlight. I'll take that for science. Tomato seeds. Okay, we only have one of those. I'll take that. Absolutely. We have two. I think we have two potato seed packs and two tomato seeds. It's time to, uh, 
It's time to do some farming, like big time. Mm-hmm, lots of metal bars and stuff. Can you need to do anything with these crates? Or, I'm sorry, these barrels? Is there, like, a purpose to them? Like, they look like raincatcher barrels, sort of, but they have nothing in them. They don't act as loot containers. Can, can I, like, open them? Another axe! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's better than Rosewood Fire Station confirmed. We have all of those things besides a tent peg. I guess I will nab that lighter, though, because it's... Not like it weighs much. Where'd it go? There it is. We are a smoker. We're always on the quest for lighters. Okay. Oh! That was a tomato seed packet. Yep. We have three tomato seed packets. That's insane. Box of screws. All this paint. We're gonna have to come back here one day and, like, paint our farm. <laughs> Tent peg again. I just got one. It's getting late. Six o'clock. Green paint. Empty bucket. Fertilizer again. Just want to check make sure nobody walked in, which nobody did. Dude, we came here expecting literally nothing. Or at least I did. Like, alright, chat. Who thought we were going to find anywhere near this much stuff here today? I really expected to come into this warehouse and find just more planks and logs like last time. That's all I expected. I did not think I'd be getting 80 seeds of beautifulness. Axes for days. Nope, I expected dog shit. And we did not get dog shit. What's up, Sputbit? How you doing? Oh, carrot seeds again, but I think we're totally good there for carrot seeds. Uh, pick oh, pickaxe. I don't think I have a pickaxe right now. I found one before, but I don't think I had the, the capacity to really hold it at the time. More tomato seeds. But how you doing, Sput? I'd, I'd like this, this water container. Currently overweight. Let's get back to the truck. Let's drop it off. I think we should go home. We can always come back later, like, regardless of what we do in the zombies. Today was an insane loot haul. Absolutely nutty. Tent peg, no wood glue, sure. Tent peg, okay. As long as I'm not overweight anymore, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, that's the sledgehammer that goes in the truck. Okay, so the sledgehammer won't even fit in the truck anymore. <laughs> Wowee. Okay, let's go. Start her up. We're out of here. What a freaking haul. Claps in chat. If we get home in one piece, we are sitting pretty. Uh, Hokey, thanks for giving a Super Spyro a sub. Thank you very much, Hokey. There you go, Super Spyro. The next one's on you, my guy. But thank you, Hokey. Appreciate it. I forgot the gas. No. I have the gas cans in the back of the truck. I didn't go get gas today. Today, I didn't think we'd spend so much time at the warehouse. We can always get gas tomorrow. There's always another day, unless you're bit, and then there's not. <laughs> and then you're dead. We're good. We got half a tank. We got some gas, I think, in the trunk bed. The truck bed. We definitely have gas cans at home that are full. Don't need to rush it. And we can always siphon fuel out of random vehicles on the road. What up, high tech, long time no see, man? Where you been? Mr. Power Tools? Welcome back, video games. You've been working. Ah, so he's super rich and he has a ton of power tools now. Got it. That's a lot of zombies that worked there a minute ago. Woof. Okay. Zombies, don't be at my house. Go this way. Yeah, go, go congregate down there so I can spend the day at home. Sorry, man, you got in front of a truck. If you, if you stand in front of a truck and, and, and you think it's going to stop for you, the truck wasn't the thing that was at fault. It was you, zombie.
Can't, can't blame me. Oh, oh God, those two zombies just bit the dirt. My poor hood. <laughs> My poor hood. What up, Lilisk? All right, that's where I gotta go. I'm gonna have to cut these trees. They're starting to grow. Oh, that's a big group there. How long till a modded playthrough? Why am I modding? The, the vanilla game's great. What do you mean? You've been here for two hours, streamer man. Why well, didn't see you say anything, viewer person? <laughs> What's up, Lilis? And Chad made me waste an entire can of spaghetti today. Because they're jerks. <laughs> I said, all you have to do is behave yourself. And they're like, no. No. So I said, okay, no spaghetti for you. And I had to drop it on the floor. I lost spaghetti today. I hate you all. Not a waste. The rats shall feast. The rats eating does not help me at all. <laughs> Screw the rats. We eat rats. All right. Um... We have a loot hall to address. <laughs> we have a couple things to put inside the house. <laughs> yeah. Be you one of those fat noodles? Well, the majority of chat did not. They were not happy. Oh, we gotta get rid of that log. That was not helping me at all. Let's just put it on the floor for now. Uh, an extra, no, that's my propane torch that I keep in here. All right, I'm overweight. Let's just get inside first. Let's survey the lands and see what's going on in here. See if anybody broke in. Doors are good. Windows are good. Past few days we've been coming here and there have been things broken. Uh, Moon Lady gifting high tech a sub. What are you gifting high tech a sub for? High tech's rich. High tech's Mr. Power Tools. He got more tools than I do. Don't gift him a sub. He's rich. He loaded. All right, let's put a chair right there. Uh, Moon Lady, thanks for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. There you go, high tech. <laughs> there you go, man. I got to move around in my chair. Some Vox gifts in the chat, I guess. Uh, the garbage bags are huge. We'll uh, definitely go get some more rain catchers soon. Bleach cleaning liquid. This goes underneath my sink with my medical E-ish related things. There you go, Lapsus. I think it was you that wanted the folding chair. Now you have one. You happy now? You got your folding chair. Now we can watch our, our tapes in style. We have eight axes at home. Yes! Um, that's awesome. A pickaxe I'll put in this chest too. Okay, it says tool slash weapon. Is a pickaxe used to, like, chop a tree down on the other side, like a mattock or whatever, or is it literally just a weapon and... I don't, I don't know. Like, what exactly does the pickaxe do in this game? Like, does it have a use besides just beating zombies with? You already know. You already know my favorite power tools. You know I'm Team Yellow. Uh, sledgehammer goes back in the truck. Let's see here. Pickaxe is a weapon. There's nothing else to do with it. Does it count as an axe for the weapon category? Like when you kill things? I did get a new crowbar too. All right, you go there. These metal sheets go inside. Okay, my sledgehammer goes here, but I guess, like, it doesn't really matter. I looted two extra sledgehammers, so I'm gonna have to leave some at home. Uh, tomato seed packets, I know where they go. Wood glue goes indoors. I'm trying to, trying to do this in stages here. All the farming stuff's gotta go in that crate out there. Okay, uh, did get a bunch of weapons. Our weapon stockpile is uh, is sitting pretty, guys. It's it's sitting pretty. Very nice. If 
Apparently it's good at breaking down locked doors to know how reliable the wiki is, though. I guess maybe if you didn't already have a sledge, but we kind of have a sledge, so... I, th I think I'd rather use the sledge for doors. It's kind of just about instantaneous. It's like two, three swings, and then we're in. But maybe if you don't have a sledge, that's a good option. Duct tape, sheets, goes over here. This crowbar and this axe don't actually go in that chest, so let's move them around. Pickaxe is a blunt weapon? Oh, so it's... What? A pickaxe is a blunt weapon? Okay, hold on. No. <laughs> no. There's definitely a pokey stick at the end of that. That's weird. This game is a miscategorizing pickaxes. Confirmed. Got it. Can we get axes zomboid? No, we have axes at home. Axes at home. Looks terrible. Hey, I have axes now. Alright, shush. I wanted axes in the beginning of the run, and we struggled to find them. And now we're just getting them all the time. I'm not complaining because they break pretty easy. Dude needs a smoke. There you go, chat. Puff, puff, pass. Puff, puff, pass. I can watch a, a tape before bed. Farming soon? Well, we gotta get all that stuff out of the truck, and then we can. Gonna have to wait until probably tomorrow, because it's getting dark, and my dude's getting tired, so I'm not gonna see zombies sneaking up on me, and that's gonna be a bad time. I'm gonna need some more chippies in an effort to try to gain weight with junk food. Didn't mean to click on that. Yeah, the whole, the whole junk food for weight thing hasn't been working. My guy's just been on this spiral of, of weight loss, and it's weird. Alright, da, da 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 that goes outside tomorrow. Let's watch another tape. Now, you, you know what? You, 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 you know what? No. No tape for chat today. They made me throw away my spaghetti. I'm mad. I'm telling you, bro. It's personal. You fuck with my spaghetti, I fuck with you. Alright, we're going back to cooking. The old-fashioned way. We're gonna make some rabbit stew. Fill my cooking pot. Maybe exercise more? No, it's... It's... The calorie intake. Exercising more will make you, like, lose weight, need more calories to maintain that weight and stuff. So it's kind of a bad idea. Uh, da 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 Create stew from... Actually, are we out of rabbit? Do we have to thaw some rabbit? <gasps> we have no rabbit! We ate all of our rabbits! Oh, no! All right. That means, that means I have to do this. Okay, that means I gotta do this. Uh, TV dinner. It's time for the first ever TV dinner. I'm guessing you just throw it in the oven. You don't have to like do anything. No, 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 no don't eat it. Why are you eating it? Can I cancel that? Oh, he just ate it raw, you idiot! That's dumb. I just clicked on it and he ate it! He ate a frozen TV dinner straight up. Well, if I die to a TV dinner, then that's because the game's Papega. And, like, literally all I did was click on it to move it. Thanks, game. Sure hope I don't die because of that. Gonna wake up sick tomorrow. It's supposed to get cooked. It says dangerous uncooked, better hot. That's so dumb. I just, I like clicked on it and you started chowing down. My mouse probably double clicked, is what I'm guessing. I was gonna say, let's just eat a TV dinner. You know, maybe that'll fatten us up. I don't know. Okay, it's already cooked. That was fast. Holy crap. TV dinner cooked minus 29 hunger. It gives you unhappiness. Bro. I would be so happy to eat a TV dinner in the apocalypse. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm feeling a little sad. I had a TV dinner in the apocalypse. I really live a rough life. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're so dumb. <laughs> Sit on ground. We're, we're gonna act like we're sitting in this chair because I can't actually sit in this chair. We're gonna read a book. Take care of our unhappiness. 
<clears throat> sure hope we don't die. You'd kill for a Salisbury steak TV dinner right now? Yeah, just think of how much more you would kill for one of those in the apocalypse. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a TV dinner being an upsetting thing. I see that as like a treat. Alright, the book has been read. And when you read books, you consume them as, as, as if they were a snack. So it's not in my inventory anymore. No longer Sag, which is good. Um, just in an effort to gain some weight. Just gonna need a couple carrots just straight up. Eat the whole thing. We'll take some carrots out tomorrow, I guess, and go bait our traps. Could even eat some instant popcorn. Very nice. Alright, we're going to bed, because it's midnight. And then we'll figure out what we're doing with all the seeds that we got at that warehouse tomorrow. We'll bring the water cooler back in. Yep, yep. Time to sleep. If I die to a TV dinner after all you've managed with this character, it'll be both hilarious and a tragedy. I'll be mad because it wasn't like I actively tried to eat it. You know? I literally tried to drag it into the oven. And my dude's like, no, 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 just stick it in my mouth. <laughs> good luck at work, Aitsuki. Have a good day. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and eat ourselves up a morning carrot. I'm gonna take a few to go bait my traps with. Uh, we'll finish the the truck offloading, and uh, we'll see if we get some bunnies out there, because I need them. Anybody here? Just another day on the farm with no zombies, please? Looking good. Looking good. Alrighty. Metal sheets, fertilizer, seed packets, rope, uh... Uh, one sledge. Okay, let's just put that sledge in my backpack. That's gonna take a while. Fertilizer. 